Hello and welcome to Infinity. We're going to look now at when we use a brush and we get opacity and hardness we often use together, but what about this flow thing in the middle? Well, let's look at what that is and, and how it works and how we might use it. So first of all, I'm just going to take the brush. Make sure I've got a brush here that's kind of useful. I used to make that a bit bigger, right square bracket. So there, here we go. And if I paint along here, why well, you get this kind of rough blobbiness at the edge? And that's going to be explained if I look to go to the more button here, which gives me a lot more control over the brush. And you can see here, you've got the same in here. And it's to do with this spacing. So if I turn this up here, you can see it literally goes blob, 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 blob. So if I drag paint here, I'm getting blobs like that. And this is the way brushes work. Brushes work by doing a series of blobs rather than a continuous line. So if I want a continuous line, I just bring the spacing down. Now I've got that smooth line. So now then, if I take the opacity and I turn that down, say, say it's 25%. Now if I go along here, I get myself a grey line. If I overlap, I can also increase it. So you might do a series of strokes each time to, if you wanted to build up. Now then, here's another way of building up. That is, let's put the opacity up again here. But put the flow down to 25. Now then, you might expect, if I draw this, that I might get that sort of this kind of effect because it looks like it under here, but if I draw here, it's doing it straight to black. And what it's got to do is this blobbiness, because if I turn the spacing up here, so I got the blobs are separated, now when I draw here, I've got that 25%. But if I go back again, and I'm not lifting the mouse button, it's going on top of it. So what it's doing, it's accumulating. So I can paint like I'm using a paintbrush and it's adding bits like that. And if I take the opacity and move this down now to 50% and do the same thing, what I'm going to get now is that the maximum it ever gets to is 50%. So what you get here, the difference between these two is flow gives you the blob, how much you of paint effectively you put down with each blob, and opacity gives you the maximum that you're ever going to get to with that. So how is this useful? Well, a way you can use this is if you change the brush here, circular brushes, you're probably not going to use it so much, but if I could summon a texture, let's take the Here's the top one here. And textures are made up of a series of blobs, just like any other brush. In fact, you can see if I go to the texture type here, it's literally the series of those blobs. So if I paint here, I'm getting here a series of blobs. And what it's doing is each blob is 26%, but with a maximum of opacity of 100%. So if I'm holding down the, the button, not changing it, it's accumulating upwards like that. And if I bring the this down, then I can build it up, but it'll only ever get to that maximum there. And if it's building up too fast, I can turn the spacing up and then it'll space out more, but then that build up happens more slowly. So let's try this on a real picture. And what I'm going to do is go to the selection brush here and I've got snap to edges and I'm just going to select the roof. We'll do this very roughly just to, because you're showing the effect. I'll do a quick refine here so that I can make sure this isn't included. Just take that out roughly. Not going to spend much time on that. Just say that's about okay. It's pretty rough, but there we go. So now I'm going to put a pixel layer up here and put in a mask, which will pick up that selection. 
So if I alt click on that, you can see that went there. So control D takes off the marching ants, go back up here. So if I paint in here, it's only ever going to paint on the roof. So now let's go back and click the paintbrush here. We'll go to a texture brush here and go to color here and we'll yeah, just set this up here to kind of a dark green. So I'm going to paint on this pixel layer a dark green with this brush. But I can also here, let's have a look first of all how it does it. It's applying it quite quickly, isn't it? Because it control Z there. So I'm going to go to here. So I've got this flow at 26%. I'm going to put go to here and make it space it out a bit more. And with this here, just close that for now. The opacity, I'll turn this down so it doesn't overdo it. Say go to 70%. So now I can just paint on here, on this roof here. And the more I cover an area, the more it gets added. So I can make some something like this. And in fact, I can undo it and go, nah, maybe let's start the flow a bit lower, maybe 13%. So that each blob is only a little bit in it. So you're going to make the build up come faster. And I'm not taking my mouse button off here. And it's, this is often better with a tablet, by the way. And so I like painting something like moss on there. I can also go down here and do something like okay, an overlay on it and adjust this opacity again. So what I'm getting is appearing of this just a little bit of moss or something on the roof. Anyway, that's it. And thank you very much for watching.